Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another haul video. Kathy uh, has recently been able to go to the bins um, and then we got sick. I don't, do you think this has something to do with the bins? I was wondering. <laughs> Probably. Because I feel like I was sick like a month ago. Yeah. Which I don't feel like I get sick this often. So. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that's that holiday cold, you know? <laughs> it's going around. Anyway, Kathy was able to go to the bins uh, a few days ago, got this other haul. We did just record uh, the previous haul right before that went up right before Christmas and this should be going up sometime after so hope you guys had a great Christmas hope Santa was good to you but uh, let's see how how did you do on this haul oh yeah we're still have <laughs> we still have like the, all the stuff from the last haul it's funny because I'm looking down here and we have these it's like the same shoe oh wow same. yeah <laughs> same exact yeah. shoe so I guess just as a refresher, we have shoes that are pretty much ready to list for Kathy. She's gonna be listing these on her own. That bin there is going to Once Upon a Child, which is a buy, sell, trade store for kids' clothing. This middle bin here is going to either uh, Plato's Closet or Uptown Cheapskate, which are two buy, sell, trade clothing stores for adult clothes. And so she'll reference this one as like, once upon a child and then this one has buy sell trade which kind of encompasses both those stores and this is stuff that she's gonna be listing on her own and that's stuff that basically needs to be washed and then it will be filtered back to one of these bins so that's kind of the, the organization as of right now and you're starting off with a mountain because I was I, this is what happens when I talk too much she <laughs> she just starts going <laughs> all right um these are some Levi's 501 little cutoff shorts. So I think I'll list these on my own. I feel like this style does pretty well. Probably at least 20. These are cute little toddler Under Armour like running shorts, which are new, but I don't know. I feel like I could sell these on my own, but do I want to? No. Once upon a child. <laughs> I found a lot of like men's like board shorts, swim trunk type things, so. Okay. Of course, they're probably not gonna take them at the buy sell trades right now, and I don't really want to just put them in a bin until like five months from now, but I don't know. Should I take them or should I list them? Hmm. Because like, I feel like- Are you I'm, excited to list them? Well, I love selling this kind of stuff, but I'm not excited about listing anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I like listing things. Yeah. Yeah. But you said you have a bunch. If you have... There's probably like 10 pairs in this haul. I, if it was me, I'd probably keep them and list them myself since it's kind of off-season. The buy-sell trade probably is less likely to take them. Oh, I threw them in there. <laughs> she threw them in there anyway. <laughs> See, I, I reverse psychology. I thought psychology you were going to say put them in a bin for like five months from now, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> no, that. I was going to say list them and then they'll just sit in the store for five months. <laughs> I mean... That's one thing I actually like to sell though, like men's swimming trunks boards. Yeah. These are old navy girls pants. Remember last time with the stretching? Some people uh -huh. were saying that that was on purpose. Okay. Probably people that have girls that have old navy pants. These ones don't have it though, so. Anyways, once upon a child took them, so they'll probably take those. Um, this is a spider, I think it's men's little pullover. Probably take that to buy sell trade first. Very nice. These are some Abercrombie shorts. Oh, I might even try those on. Those are cute. Otherwise, buy, sell, trade. This is a cute little navy outfit. Little toddler. Once upon a child. Cute. Uh, these are Wrangler. They are new. They just need a lint roll. Do you want these? Might fit you. Would you want these or no? Uh, I probably would not go for them. Cargo shorts. Yeah, I'm not a huge cargo shorts guy. You're not cool. I like I jeans. Like <laughs> I like jeans or gym shorts. <laughs> that's, <laughs> those are my, that's my wardrobe. <laughs> I think this is a little camera bag. I don't know. Could be like a wallet. And it's jeans for it. Then it costs much. I'm going to try to list that for like 15 to 20. Almost looks like an old cell phone case. <laughs> like Nokia's or something. Um, this is Pottery Barn. I only found one of this pillow cover. It needs a wash. I don't know, probably keep that for keep. when we need it. For the pillow collection? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this I just bought because it was new. I don't know, little polar bear. Probably not going to sell for much, but put it in. They're not going to take that. That 
I don't know. I'm not putting it in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, this, I just... Love Your Mother, yeah, Suburban, Suburban Riot. Riot. I don't know. Buy, sell, trade. This is Talbot Sense of Linen piece. Probably buy, sell, trade first. I'm bummed most of this stuff is like not the Play-Dohs kind of stuff because I, I really wanted to go to Play-Dohs mm -hmm. before Uptown Cheapskate because they have a deal where like if you spend cer certain money right now you get like a $50 off coupon for like after the holidays. Oh. If you spend enough money there? You buy something now for like 75 bucks. Like okay. Before, whatever so you're wanting to build some credit so that you could yeah. use that as that 75 bucks? Right. And then, yeah. I did it one time already. I wanted to do it again. But I don't think I want to have enough stuff. Yeah. I mean, I could just go spend money there, but I don't Who know. Wanna, <laughs> <laughs> who's going to do that? Uh, this is a, just a little velvet tank. I might try that on. Otherwise, buy, sell, trade. This is Walmart, but new with tag. Kids... It's kind of like a PFG shirt, but more yeah. my brand. So. Vented. Probably just once upon a child. Uh, and this is a size six, so it's probably too small, but I was going to keep it for size, but <laughs> it's probably too small, so probably once upon a child. This is a Victoria's Secret little nighty. I was going to try that on. Little nightgown. Um, found a few toy pieces. The other ones are new. This one's not new, but... I don't know, the buy-sell trade has not really taken any of my toward stuff, I don't think. Maybe a couple of pieces. I don't mm. know. I guess they're picky on toy. Does Play-Dohs ever take it? I don't think so. Yeah. So it's Which only... they have... Bro. <laughs> you might. <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe Uptown Cheapskate so. probably is like your last bet on that one then. Yeah. And they, it depends on if they want it or not. Columbia. They've taken almost all my Columbia at the buy sell trade. So I'll take that there. Um, these are American Eagle mom shorts. So they would probably most definitely take those. These are men's Levi denim shorts, which I don't know how many shorts they're taking. I know those were shorts. Mm -hmm. but the buy, like Play-Doh's almost always takes like all Levi's from me. So we'll see. These are just like Walmart shorts, but they are also a mom short, so figured I'd try it out. They take a lot of Walmart stuff for me. These are Athleta, but like old, old Athleta. Like these are from like 2014, I think. Hmm. Yeah. 2012. Oh, wow. <laughs> Super old Athleta. It's so almost I'm, 12 years I'm old. I'm about the tag and try them at the bicycle tree. <laughs> Well, I thought this was cute. Well, I'm probably just gonna list that. Home is where the heart is. Little hand stitch thingy. Hmm. It might be like 10 to 15 bucks. Um, I like selling bras from the bins. This is True & Co, I think. True & Co? Yeah. So, just says True. I actually might try that on, but I need to wash it. Um, this is Lululemon bra sports bra I have the other one listed it hasn't sold it's been like over a month I don't see the size dot in either of these sides mm. I was gonna say I'll take it to buy sell trade but I don't know they probably won't take it without a size I'm still gonna put it in there <laughs> yeah I mean might as well let them let them decide right found a few Columbia sh like pieces uh, these are men's shorts I'm just gonna put it all in there, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, H&M shorts for Once Upon a Child. This is Target for Once Upon a Child. These are Target for Once Upon a Child. This is the new Attack Toward piece. So it's three, just a nice black dress. I'm trying to decide. If I want to list it, I mean, Torrid sells pretty well for me, but I don't like listing black clothes. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Such a hard decision. I don't know. <laughs> Timberland for Once Upon a Child. These are new, Columbia. Men's shorts. I'm sure I can get at least 20, but I kind of rather just take them to buy some trade. <laughs> 
I feel like we should uh, mention why buy, sell, trade. I know if you haven't watched any of our hauls in the recently, Kathy is basically going to the bins, finding stuff that has value, but not necessarily stuff that you are excited to list. You're, you haven't really been excited to list any of this stuff yet, but you can take it to buy, sell, trade, like Uptown Cheapskate, Plato's Closet, uh, Once Upon a Child, and then they give you credit, and you can either just take that money to find something that's of more value that can sell faster, that you're more excited to sell, or just take the cash and... You know, uh, essentially, you're if you do that route, you're kind of like more or less doubling the money that you yeah. put in to, at the bins. So it's just kind of a a fun way that Kathy's been able to. <laughs> well, I told you this, but next year I want to make it my furniture fund. <laughs> make it your furniture fund. I sell trade, yeah. So I'll I'll actually have to weigh the bins before I take them, just to kind of yeah actually know what I spent on the stuff. But so trying to like decorate our house. Yeah. So like, buy, buy, sell, true. trading. Like last week on Once Upon a Child gave me 120 I would say I spent probably about 40 or so on the stuff that they took, but... Yeah. Yeah. This time I would actually weigh it and then minus out and then, you know... Yeah. Put the initial investment back in our investment. Like, yeah. Or, yeah. And then keep the rest for my furniture fund. But, yeah. That's why I want to do it. And then you're at the Benz anyway, and you've okay. found some really good pieces that we're going to use for the house. All right. Like large mirrors, and then you'll be there to be able to capture that kind of stuff, too. I think it's a great idea. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're interested in following along with that. But And there's still plenty of leftover for me to list for yeah, yeah. normal monies for her to pay our bills. You'll still, find, <laughs> you'll still find stuff um, to, to list here and there anyway, so... Uh, yeah. Sweet. I feel like I find at least like a hundred dollar piece every time I go. Yeah. So. It's just kind of a way to, to capitalize on that time that otherwise I guess would be wasted at the bins passing over all this stuff that you're looking at already. So you're, you're there, the time's already invested and that's kind of like our most valuable asset at this point is our time. So you're just trying to, you know, get your, your time back, I guess <laughs> in a weird way. Uh, more Columbia. These are women's though. Uh, this was new at tag. That's the only reason I got it. Flirtitude. <laughs> I don't know. It says active, so just like a cropped. I don't know. I feel like this is something Plato's would like, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, this was just a North Face, like a little fanny. Like a running. Yeah. Looks like runners. a water bottle holder fanny yeah. pack for runners. Plato's might actually take this. I'm going to put it in there. I mean, they take fannies. I don't know. If they would take this, it's a little bit more. They love Specialized, yeah. yeah. I mean, I could sell this probably at least for twenty, but okay. Um, Target brand for Once Upon a Child. Yeah, these ones are a little bit larger. That one, yeah, they won't take them there, so I'll list these Javianas. Okay. I think they stop at a women's seven at Once Upon a Child because they did not take those SO sandals the other day. Those were an eight. Mm. But they've taken like all my sevens that I got them. So they do women's clothing there, but they don't do women's they don't shoes. Do women's clothing at all they don't they do women's shoes i Up see i always seven. thought they did mom stuff too no. okay maybe i'm mixing up because you always mix up kids and then once someone and that uh what's that other the, the big event oh jbf jbf maybe that's yeah, i'm mixing them all together there, yeah. <laughs> uh these are another pair of levi's 501 the women's shorts all of those these were cool Jinko. You found your yeah. first pair of Jinko. And they have a stain on them, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Are they the vintage Jinko? Can you tell? I think that all Jinko are vintage, right? Are they? I don't know. I think I think I heard that they were re revamping the lines They're or something. Not definitely anything new, but Okay. I'll have to yeah. look into it, but they're a smaller size of twenty nine. They don't have any of the yeah. dragon embroideries. If you're not familiar, Jinko, uh, back when we were kids, <laughs> they had like they have the big, like, I mean, you could fit five people in these pants, <laughs> and they would, a lot of them would have big embroideries going down the pant legs in the back. Um, and they were just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> did you did you ever have a pair of Jinkos? No. No? <laughs> did you ever like a boy that had a pair of Jinkos? Mm, don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever had a pair. I've had a few boys. I wish I had some. I was, <laughs> I was the skater kid that <laughs> wish I had some Jinkos. Anyways, I mean, I don't know. I did look up comps, but 
I feel like the seltzer wasn't good, at least on a size 29. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, some sold were like 80, 90, 100. You know, most of those did have the cooler embroideries on them. But, I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Hopefully somewhere in that range. Yeah, plus there are the shorts. So, they were the pants. And I was looking up shorts in my... So, that was a slower seltzer for shorts. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, I think we just got these for me. <laughs> those little sponges, those little oh, Swedish cute. sponges. And this is for Once Upon a Child, little Target sw- swimsuit. These are American Eagle midi shorts. These are not, these are uh, 2022, that's not too old. Yeah. Maybe they'll take those. <laughs> uh, these are Eddie Bauer, like a performance short, so we'll see. Uh, this I got for style. It's Roxy brand. I love like a little crochet tank. Yeah. Like uh, a doily. a little stain now that I missed, so I'd have to wash that. I felt like Play-Dohs would take this, but now I have to wash it. Mm. Um, this is Pottery Barn. I was going to keep it. It's another another game. Pottery Barn. Yeah, another duvet? duvet cover, yep. Duvet. So, I like this one. Um... Man, is it gonna be? I wanna make y'all wait. But now I'm like, is this linen? <laughs> it's just. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> just spent 10 minutes looking for the tag and she had it in her hand the whole time. <laughs> uh, 85% cotton, 15% linen. So okay. Not bad. Uh, it's a full queen size though, so this could be for like our guest bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have just a nice little plaid. Very nice. I honestly like that one more than the yeah, bird one. I but. like that one. <laughs> um, I did not look up comps on this, mainly because I ran out of time, but I thought it was a nice material. I don't know the brand. Tabasco? <laughs> Tabasco? <laughs> made, made in Peru. It's 78% alpaca, 17% wool. So okay. It's just like a nice sweater. It may be worth nothing at all. <laughs> Hopefully 30 bucks at least. Almost that. Um, these are just like an Amazon short, I'm pretty sure, that brand. Bayleaf? Yeah. Mm-hmm. SPF, so they're like, uh... They do feel like, uh... Fishing or something? Mm-hmm. Boating? Yeah. I was thinking these look like a bike short, but without the padding, I don't know. Trying there. These are Nike. Whoa. Put them in the Once Upon a Child band. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna find Waldo in those pants. Um, this is Madewell. So hopefully Bicycle Trade takes that. These are Duluth Training Co, but like a women's pant, like a cargo. Not too bad. Mm, I'll put those in there. Sweet. Um, this is United. So it says Impact by United by Blue, which is sold United by Blue, and it's usually like organic cotton stuff. So I don't know. I imagine this is like a $20 shirt, but I'm going to take it first. Yeah. Um, these are H&M for Once Upon a Child. This is an old navy, but new, just a flannel, 2X. So, hopefully by Phil Trade will take that. Another new tag Torrid, just a basic shirt with some like lacy sleeves. Uh, this I just bought because it was new. I don't know the brand, Lucy Paris. Hmm. Looks like it was Dillard's or something. Clearance to 46, which is still a lot. Clearance to 46. I know. <laughs> I mean, Dillard's also yeah. does a lot of plus an additional 100% off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I swear Dillard's has like the craziest sales. Uh, yeah, so some more board chores. These are Quicksilver. Um, I didn't know this brand, but it felt decent. So crazy shirts. Crazy shirts? <laughs> just like a board short. Uh, these ones I'll probably list because I like selling the sacks. Sacks. Yeah. Got the special compartment. Yeah. <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, some Nike shorts, Once Upon a Child. Little Oshkosh overalls for Once Upon a Child. These are Athleta shorts. I feel like they took these exact ones from me recently, even though they're like an older model. These need a wash though, so I'll wash them. I might actually try those on. Those are kind of cute. Um. Curly men's board shorts. Nice. These are Pottery Barn, but I don't think they're cute. So I just 
they actually had the duvet that much. These, it was super heavy, so I left it because I didn't like it enough to want it for myself. Mm. And I was running out of time to check comps, and I thought it was kind of ugly. <laughs> oh, these are pillow shams or yeah, something? Yeah, these are just the pillow cases. So these yeah. didn't weigh much. I figured they, I could probably sell them for something. But yeah. What's that? I don't know. It's just not a really cute. It feels right? like a teddy bear. Yeah. I don't know. So I'll list those. Yeah, they're not right. that cute. Oh. These I'm probably going to keep for Connor. They're bogs in his next size up, size two. Yeah. So. He loves the bogs that you got him last time. Yeah. A little too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, these I just got because they were new. I figured we could put them for next Halloween. Just yeah? Some Halloween pillows? Um, new, but rolled around in the bin so a little bit. <laughs> <It's> dusty. <laughs> I like this one a lot. That could be like a little... Our bed could be this. Whatever. Yeah. Spooky bed? Spooky bed. We got some free birds. Ooh. I feel like I find so many free birds at the bins. Yeah. I mean, these are not in great shape, but not horrible. Size eight. Yep. You didn't have to get in a fight for these ones, did I you? I didn't. Nobody nice. even wanted them. They were just sitting in there waiting for me. Nice. All right. This is also Pottery Barn. Probably going to keep it. I feel like this one had at least some dust. I need to wash. I'm going to wash all this bedding before <laughs> I use it, obviously. <laughs> Well, it's got a little coffee on it now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what size this one is. Just a nice quilt, though. 100. 100% cotton. This one doesn't say if it's... So, I think it's probably yeah. a full. It doesn't seem that big. I like quilts. Yeah, yeah I do like this one. Nice. Do I like... Uh, did you ask if I like this one? Yeah. yeah. I like it. That's nice. It's okay. No, okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's for us. Right. You over there? You stay off those blankets, mister. He's like eyeballing them. Mm -hmm. so these are for once upon a child, old navy shoes. These are totes for once upon a child. These are some screws for you. Got me some screws. Yep, Thank you. I like having things on hand, especially when they're organized. <laughs> um, this was J. Jill. J. Jill denim. I thought it was pretty the embroidery. Is it not anymore? What? Well, you said it was it J. Was Jill. Pretty. <laughs> oh. You said this was J. Jill. So <laughs> I'm like, what happened? I don't know. My brain's not working today, so thanks for bearing with us and checking out my cool finds. I'm excited to share it, so if I seem not that excited, it's just because my voice and everything. Yeah. I think I was going to try this on. The brand is just fig and flower. I don't think it's anything special, but I'll okay. take that device. I'll trade if I don't like it. Um, this is Peruvian Connection, although, which is a great brand. This isn't anything special. It's just a tank. And someone cut out or ripped out the um, material tag, so I can't tell what it was. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Peruvian like a connection. Their, a lot of their materials are like really nice. Yeah, They're like not, they do like hemp and stuff, or do they do I feel like more cashmere, like alpaca, alpaca. and stuff? So yeah, I don't know. This might be like a merino wool blend or something, but I can't tell. Maybe I can find the exact same shirt, and somebody else has their tag yeah. inside. So. Um, I don't know. I might just take it to buy I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I just got a couple of these sports bras to try on Target Champion. If I sell them, they're probably like 10 bucks. Um, this is made well, but, uh, is that a stain? I'll wash it. It's texture and thread by made well. I don't know if that's like a lower end line or what. Mm. I don't really think that's a super cute shirt, but wash that. I need to figure this out. This is just for once upon a child target. But the lining came out and I felt like it was all twisted, so. Yeah. I'll figure that out, but I'll put it in there. But it's but, sewn in, so it's. Yeah. It's a really cute dress though, for a little girl. Um, these are Levi's but corduroy and I feel like corduroy is doing really well right now. So, oh yeah. Yeah. And they're a long size, 36 by 36. I bet the bicycle trade would take them. 
I think it's a good color for corduroy too. Yeah. Oh, this is Carter's for Once Upon a Child. Oh, this is Soma. Yeah. Soma? Soma. Soma bra. That's probably at least 15 bucks. I think I need to wash it. These are cool. I feel like they have a stain. But still excited about those. Okay. They are men's size, so they should do well. K-U-H-L. <laughs> Yeah. One of our favorite brands to find. Yeah, might have not even let us think. I mean, this might be like up to 40. At yeah. least 30 probably. Definitely one that we'll list on our own. These are just Target brand, but new tag bras. Auden? Now they're very different colors. They're just like a medium. I don't I was going to say I could lot them, but whoever wants this probably doesn't want orange and... I don't know. Oh, this does. Um, this is J. Crew, just a nice little plaid button up. Take that to buy sell trade. Uh, this is Playtex. There was a ton of bras, most of them were pretty worn, but this one wasn't, so I just grabbed it. Because they're easy listings. I felt like somebody would like this one. I think a lot of people like the front snap. Is that like a maternity bra? I don't think so. No? I like the, the shoulders feel good. This honestly looks like new without tag to me. Probably 10 to 5. Maybe like 15. Okay. I didn't look this up because I ran out of time, but it says 100% cashmere. Brand is Hannah Rose. It's just a scarf, though. Like we'll an see. infinity scarf? Is that what they call that? Yeah. I've done okay with some cashmere scarves, but it didn't weigh a whole lot, so I'll list that. This is just an undershirt for me. Uh, this is a new attack bathing suit, but like Kohl's brand. Jeez. I know everything at Kohl's is like 100% off too, but uh, this said it was $86. It's just it's just cropped and borrowed brand. For a swimsuit? But yeah. It needs to get Jeez. enrolled. <laughs> I know swimsuits are expensive, but like Kohl's brand. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, $86, 79% off. <laughs> uh, this I just got because I think it might have been new. It, it was in, you know, like sometimes they have them like stuffed in the little yeah. bag that was in one of those. I didn't keep the little bag, but the brand is just westbound. I don't actually know where that's sold, but it is a down vest, so I thought mm. it was nice. A pretty color. The bicep might actually take that. <coughs> uh, this is Target brand for Once Upon a Child. This is a uniform French toast short. They did take all those uniform pieces at one time, so nice. I guess they take them. Uh, new tag Walmart shorts for Once Upon a Child. I thought this was a cute blanket. It's I didn't see a tag at all, so I was gonna keep this for us. And just okay. I throw over. Nice. I don't know. You like it? Yeah, I like it. It's, it's nice. like a natural feel. Like yeah. a... I thought it was cool. I like the edge patterns, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of tassels, but I think I'll get over it. Or whatever this I is like called. This fringe. this orange color. Um, these are Oshkosh for Once Upon a Child. These are Patagonia baggies. A little bit dirty. I mean, yeah, they have some spots, but... I figured I could still get something out of them. I'm gonna wash them though. Another pair of these. Once upon a child. Um, what were these? Brag, oh, baggy? Anchor blue. Anchor blue, baggies. gotcha. Yeah. I've sold some of these for like 30 or 40 bucks. So yeah. I'll probably list these on my own. Oh. Yeah. A few more things. Another pair of rock climbing shoes. These weren't in great shape, but. It's still probably like 30 bucks, honestly. Nice. These, I ran out of time to check much about them, but they reminded me of like an expensive kid shoe that like used to be sold on kid as in a lot. I don't think these are them. I think these are called Sculpt something or other after I Google into them, but mm. I don't think they're worth a whole lot, so I'm gonna put them in the once upon a child bin. <laughs> Last few things. Some media. All of this was $131.40. Very nice. Yeah, so all of these things were 69 cents each. 
Yep, seven. Okay. So we got the whole Indiana Jones collection. Right? Is that all of them? Um, well, they just had one come out like this year. Oh. So. Okay. <laughs> But yes, that that was previously <laughs> the uh, the complete uh, collection. We own it for sixty nine cents. Nice. And all of the Harry Potters, which yeah. kids haven't seen. They wanted to read the books, but he's reading it so slow that I know. I just want to watch the movie with you. <laughs> That's good that it's all. Yeah, all I did film. check on. They're all in there. Nice. I like that. It's just funny. We like all got rid of all of our stuff, and now you're like, yeah. Let's well, <laughs> something kind of happened that sparked me being interested in in. Um, just having some media and um, I think it was Sony one of the big platforms I think it was Sony like PlayStation Network or something people had bought like imagine going on Apple TV and buying movies for 20 bucks each and then their license is expired and then now they don't have them anymore so they bought them digitally but they don't have they, they have no access to them or something like that happened and you know i was like thinking man we always find stuff like this at garage sales or the bins for like you know 69 cents and yeah. we might not ever watch them <laughs> but you know we've been kind of like reviewing it's the end of the year i always review the subscriptions and stuff that we have and i'm like man we we have like Hulu, Disney Plus, and all this, and we watch like once a month, twice a month, maybe. So, you know, just cutting back on that kind of stuff and maybe supplementing it here and there with things that we actually enjoy watching. So that's kind of what sparked that, and then you found those, so that's awesome. Those are actually, if we did sell them, worth quite a bit more. Yeah, there's- not, not a ton, but like, I feel like 15 to 20 each. For yeah. Those, so. Honestly, I kind of predict the media, the hard media yeah. market, <laughs> going up again you know think of like old video games you could download any video game you want but people want the the actual thing so street fighter vhs that's like the worst movie ever on it. <laughs> it's like the worst movie ever but thank you this i was in like christmas oh no I, I'm, I'm mistaken this is not the worst movie ever <laughs> this is the mer <laughs> just kidding um you found a Mary Kate Nashley movie for, for us to watch, but it's still sealed, and this is actually worth like thirty bucks. So I'm gonna just <laughs> nice. Um, Some other wife is trying to force her husband to watch yeah. it. <laughs> actually, all the Mary Kate Nashley movies, if you find them anywhere, are worth at least like fifteen dollars for a DVD, even which is a lot for a yeah. DVD. So okay, Mary Kate and Ashley stuff. I guess. Oh, Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Huh? Well, this was yeah, sixty nine cent game. So uh, do we have this game? Do we have we played it? Um, if we do, I'm sure we've had it long enough to the kids have <laughs> lost a bunch of pieces. I feel like there's a lot of pieces in that game. I mean, is this a fun game to play or just? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's another thing we like doing is actually playing like tabletop games yeah. with the family. So. Uh, this, I put it in with all the games, and I was like, is this count as a game? <laughs> it's super heavy, you know, yeah. it doesn't want to throw it back, so she just gave it to me for six minutes. Sweet. I don't think we need it. It's more of like a toddler type yeah. thing. Yeah. I was thinking about just gifting it to my friend who has a kiddo, Sensory toddler. band. Yeah. She does homeschooling, yeah. so. So. Yeah. Nice. That's, I think that's a good find yeah, for 69 cool. cents. <laughs> I don't know if she was supposed to give it to me as a game, but. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that kind of goes, like, you can kind of wheel and deal sometimes with the Ben's workers. I'm surprised, because I was there at the last minute. She's probably, like, so annoyed that I'm still there. So I just want to go yeah. home. But. Was that the last thing? That was the last thing. Awesome. I, th I think you're right. I think this, even though you didn't have as many shoes this time, yeah. I think you found, I'm excited about the... I'm excited about my pottery The movies. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like those jinkos, because I've never found it, I've been looking out for them. Yeah. I was excited about those and always excited for Freebird. So. Absolutely. So sweet. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us on this one. Um, but that's going to do it for this haul. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.